So how you will manage your class? This management can be excellent or this management can be very bad. So it's totally up to you teachers how you want to manage your class. So let's start with me today. I will share with you some tips and tricks how to manage your class. My first tip is that what you want to see, show towards them. If you want your students to respect you, then definitely you should have to show them respect as well. And if you want them to follow you, then you have to give them respect and to provide and offer the things in a respectful way. This can include speaking politely to others, such as other staff and students, keeping electronics out of sight during class time and handling the conflict calmly and respectfully with your colleagues as well. My second tip is to manage a classroom in a proper way is to establish rules with the help of your students. How you can do this? Having a discussion about classroom rules with your students and allow your students to work on it and know the good and bad of the classroom etiquette. You should have to ensure more, you can say, the management and uh, the appliance. My tip number three, teachers. The rules need to discuss with the students. Once classroom rules are established by you and your students, you need to make sure that your students have a way to keep track of them. So discuss with them off and on and ask them about the rules and regulations and also appreciate them if they are following the rules. My next tip is for you teacher is the rule that teachers love to do in the class but actually this is not a good way to manage your classroom positively. And that tip is don't punish the whole class at the same time. Punishing the whole class can harm classroom management in the long run because it hurts the students who are behaving correctly. Instead of punishing the whole class, it can help to gently call out students who are misbehaving by engaging them back into the class topic. They can be questions such as, do you have a question or do you need help instead of disappearing the student for misbehaving. In this way, you will able to solve the problems. My best advice to you, always encourage your students. In every classroom, there will be eager and excited learners. Take advantage of this and encourage students to present to the class. Work on innovative projects and help the students to work on different type of activities and to work and encourage them for their small, small uh, you can say efforts and uh, my next strategy always how I was dealing with my class and my advice to you give praise generously you can never hurt a student or classroom environment by giving praise to students or the class this helps the class by inspiring students raising students self-esteem and encouraging positive behavior and participation so let's move towards our next strategy. Send positive work words home. You know, when there is a problem, we are calling the parents to help us, like students, teacher, and the parents always working like a triangle. And we need to communicate with the parents to take the more benefit from our students. So in this way, we are asking the parents to help us. But not always complain the parents. Sometimes you have to appreciate the students as well. You need to call home. So it's common for teachers to call parents. But when there is issue, not only call for the issue, but it can also be helpful to call home when there is positive news. Not only will this be appreciated by parents, but it will create positive reinforcement for the students. 
build excitement for the material. This is very, you can say, a nice tip that you can use and mostly people are not using it, but I'm sharing it here with you. My dear teachers, you need to build excitement for the material. This can be in the form of starting of class with a sneak peek of the day's material with books and you can use some activities or excited, curious. You can make the students excited and curious about the day's work. You can start the class off with a question or a quiz that will be answered throughout the day or inform the class about an activity that will be done later at the end of the day. This will keep the students engaged and excited. My last tip for the teachers, interview your students. You can ask small, small questions from the students. Take each student aside for a few minutes to ask them about how they work well in class. This can include questions such as who they work well with, which activities they like the most, which subjects they enjoy. This will be especially helpful for the few students who cause disturbing or disruption during the class. And uh, some more things that you can do, you can have a plan for addressing bad behavior because with all these strategies still you can't say that your students will work well. So you have to plan some strategies and you have to discuss with your management, with your coordinator. In this way, you can take the help from others as well. Thank you.